my supervisor would tell me, Bobby, time to go home at 6 o'clock. Uh, but I recognized that in order to be accepted as a member of the team, in order to be thought of as the equal of these guys, I was going to have to work the same way these guys were, whether I got paid or not. And so, you know, I just persisted in that. And I think that because of that, I became accepted as a member of the team. And that was really key that I was not thought of as different. Although once I was in the control center, that was a whole different experience, okay? Because I'm sitting there in Apollo, 13, Apollo 11, sometimes listening to the chatter, because we would hear three, four, five channels at once. And I kept hearing a particular channel being mentioned, someone saying, hey, have you seen what's on channel whatever? And I'd hear this off and on. And I finally thought, I wonder what's on that channel? <laughs> and I tuned it in, and it was me. <laughs> there was a camera. Mm -hmm. There were cameras all over the place. But there was this, they're supposed to be on the room as a whole. This camera was just on me. I have no idea how long it had been on me. I didn't say anything about it. We didn't even know the term sexual harassment or un, un, you know, hostile workforce. And there's two different ways to think about that. One is that you know, it's a little voyeuristic on the part of the dudes watching you. And it is sort of harassing and uncomfortable. But the other way to think of it is, so let them look and let them all know. Let everybody who's not in this damn room know there is a woman here. I'm here. Get used to it. 